In this video, explore the intriguing realm of the world's most prohibited dog breeds and delve into their remarkable abilities. Crafted not just for prospective big, strong dog owners, but for all to understand what to anticipate from our furry companions, including adorable Japanese dogs restricted in numerous countries. Encounter giant dogs that require testing to own, breeds with astonishing bite, Fela Brasileiro. In the United States, the breed called Brazilian Mastiff or the Fela Brasileiro is banned in Wisconsin, Colorado, Kansas, Oregon, and Washington, and the USA is not the only country where this breed is treated with apprehension. The Fila Brasileiro breed is banned in many countries around the world. But why? Ask any Fila Brasileiro owner, and most will tell you that their dog is the smartest, kindest, and most affectionate in the world. Also, the Fila Brasileiro are very big dogs. Adults grow up to 75 centimeters at the withers and weigh at least 50 kilograms. But what's the basis of the ban? The fact that the Fila Brasileiro dogs are known for their aggressiveness recommended to get them only to experienced dog owners. These dogs are fiercely loyal to their family, which means they stand up for everything they consider their own. Neapolitan Mastiff If you take a small look at the pictures and videos of these dogs, you can guess why some countries have banned its breeding. In Singapore, ownership of this dog breed is banned throughout the country, and in Romania, in order to become an owner, one must pass a series of psychological tests. Of course, many dog owners think the bans are too strict because with proper training and socialization, Neapolitan Mastiffs turn into calm and friendly dogs. Most people are afraid of them. Neapolitan Mastiffs do not start fights, but they can finish them easily. Although sometimes it seems that the Chihuahua has more fury than these good-natured giants do. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dogs Czechoslovakian wolf dogs are banned in some parts of the world, but not because they're famous for their aggression. From the law point of view, any wolf dog hybrids would be considered potentially more dangerous than the common breeds. There are exceptions to the rule though. In Finland, for example, all known species of wolf dogs are banned except the Czechoslovakian wolf dogs. Many owners consider individuals of this breed to be the best in the world. Of course, their hearing, sense of smell, and instincts are developed much better than other breeds. In Europe and the United States, this breed is used in rescue operations to find people, but for inexperienced dog owners, this breed can be dangerous because it requires long training. Alaskan Malamute It's hard to argue with the fact that this breed is very beautiful, but why is it banned in many states of America? This breed is easy enough to train, but it will require a lot of time from the owner. These dogs are often used in riding and sleds, which means they are kept in whole packs. Such a pack is a big danger to small animals. The neighbor's cats will have a hard time. In addition, most Alaskan Malamutes are dominant. To put two dogs of the same sex and age together will be a real nightmare for an inexperienced dog breed, Pitbull. Between 1981 and 1991, there were as many as 15 tragic cases of attacks by dogs of this breed in Wales and England. The government decided that such aggression could only be dealt with by radical methods. So, pit bulls were banned. Unfortunately, upon passing the law of illegal breeds, the lawmakers did not base the law upon scientific research, they just used dry statistics. The fact is, this dog breed was popular with criminals. In the criminal world, pit bulls were trained to attack people. Some exceptions for pit bulls already living in the UK do exist, but the breed cannot be bred, sold, or exchanged. For approved individuals, insurance, vaccinations, registration number tattoos, microchips, and a leash and collar during any walk. Dogo Canario I don't want to be biased, but this breed has a really terrible reputation. From 1984 to 2014, the Dogo Canario was the fourth most aggressive breed in the world, with over 100 officially recorded attacks on humans. Many of these cases ended tragically, and in the majority of cases, the victims were at least injured. With good training, you can turn these dogs into excellent pets and defenders. However, wild individuals remain absolutely unpredictable in their behavior, 
and if you do not assert yourself as a leader, the Dogo Canario will not take you seriously at all. Tosa Inyo At first glance, it is difficult to understand why lawmakers in several countries of the world think that these cute dogs are so dangerous. The Tosa Inu is a very rare breed, both in its homeland, where it is a national treasure, and beyond its borders. The Tosa Inu is banned in Portugal, Singapore, Malta, Australia, New Zealand, USA, Israel, Norway, and many other countries. But why? The fact is that Tosa Inu, also known as Tosa Ken, or the Tosa, is a breed bred for dogfighting. They're powerful and tenacious natural-born killers. Only an experienced dog person can raise a dog with such genes. Otherwise, one can turn into the owner of a huge uncontrollable beast with killer instincts. Akita In the United States, the Akita dogs are banned in Washington, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, and Tennessee. The Akita is native to Japan, where these dogs are considered great hunters and protectors, but official statistics are not so generous. These statistics take into account that these dogs are very aggressive. Not surprisingly that the hunting breed reacts keenly to rash actions. If you interfere with an Akita's food intake, you'll find yourself in a very, very serious conflict. Long and careful training helps to avoid such problems, but unfortunately, some owners frankly neglect it. Boxer. Surprise? And really, how can the playful, sweet, and good-natured boxers end up on the list of most illegal dog breeds in the world? Theoretically, boxers are not banned anywhere except Ukraine, but many countries have imposed serious restrictions on their owners. From 1982 to 2014, there were 62 official cases of boxers attacking people, seven of which ended tragically. However, only those dogs whose owners neglected training are dangerous. In other cases, boxers are what they are said to be loyal friends and excellent defenders. Boar Bowl Boar Bowl are very strong and enduring dogs. They should train and walk outside at least twice a day. Lack of exercise can provoke hyperactivity and spontaneous aggression, which can lead to attacks on bystanders. Boar bull are very dominant animals, so they don't recognize anyone but their owner. They can show their stubborn nature even towards their owners. So we found out what breeds can be considered the most illegal in the world and why, but is it possible to single out one breed and call it the most dangerous? Or any big dog can earn the title of the most dangerous dog in the world. Let's choose such a parameter as biting force and try to identify the most dangerous dog in the world, Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino from the first glance at the dogs of this breed. It's clear that officially they were bred for hunting. The Argentinian Dogo is the first and only officially recognized dog breed bred in Argentina. Sometimes the Argentinian Dogo is called the Dogo Argentino. Due to the fact that most of the individuals of this breed who live in cities do not have the opportunity to realize themselves as hunters, more and more dogs are used in various canine discipline. The biting force of these hunters is 25 ATM. Mordal Mastiff This breed originated in France many centuries ago and has a long history. However, this breed did not gain popularity until 1863. After the first dog show in the Botanical Gardens in Paris, the breed became famous after they released the movie Turner and Hooch. Unlike other Mastiffs, Bordeaux Mastiffs are pretty lazy and friendly dogs that are great with children and do not require long walks. However, it's not advisable to anger them. Their biting force is as much as 37.8 ATM. Cane Corso this hunting dog is a native to Italy like most Mastiffs. It was originally bred for hunting and warfare. It's a large breed of Italian Mastiff, a descendant of the dogs of Roman soldiers used in wars. It has a sleek, muscular body weighing up to 50 kilograms. The Cane Corso has a large and intimidating head with powerful jaws. One look can tell most people that this dog can do a lot of damage. Its biting force is also impressive 47.6 ATM. American Bulldog American Bulldogs are often used with English Bulldogs, but in fact, 
These two breeds are very different. The strong neck and wide mouth allow the American Bulldog to clench its jaws with a force of 72 ATM when grabbing the enemy. The movement of the jaws in the vertical and horizontal direction leaves no chance for the victim to escape. English Mastiff The English Mastiff is an old English dog breed, the largest Mastiff in Europe and the largest of the Mastiffs. Trained individuals of this breed are great with people, but only very active people should get these dogs because English Mastiffs are very energetic and love long walks. You can't call these giants harmless. Their biting force is 131 ATM. Pitbull. Pitbulls are so dangerous that many European countries have banned this breed at all, as I've already mentioned. No wonder their biting force is 137 ATM. These dogs are difficult to control. They can show aggression at any time. When pit bulls smell blood, they stop responding to commands and attack the victim. There are many known cases of these dogs attacking their owners. Kangal Shepherd Dog. And finally, the most powerful and strongest dog breed and potentially the most dangerous dog breed in the world is the Kangal Shepherd Dog. Since ancient times, they've been used to protect herds from larger predators such as bears or wolves. They have the highest biting force of any dog 176 ATM. It's not much less than a polar bear's biting force impressive, huh? That's all, guys. Would you like to get yourself one of the dogs from this video? Let me know in the comments below, and if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and don't forget to stay notified of upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you later.